Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Ariel Policano joining you each and every week for our genius biofeedback lesson of the week, our weekly support class, a time for you to ask questions, a time for you to volunteer for cases, and happy, happy American holiday week to you, everyone. It's so good to be here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. Our friends who are new, our friends who've been coming for weeks, a warm welcome to you. Thank you so, so much, Candy. Thank you, Jason, for being here. Thank you, Rosemary. Liza, so good to have you. Welcome, uh, welcome, Cassie, one, somebody who's checking out the Genius. Kalaya is here, one of the newest members of our Genius community, um, welcoming her, joining us from Canada. Ian is here, welcome. Fran, Fran jo joining maybe from South Carolina today, I wonder, or are you in New Jersey today? Cheryl is joining us, Dale is here, Fifi is here, good to have you. I can't forget the Sherry's, they're both here, the one from California and the one from Canada, they're both here. You guys just sending you lots of love and appreciation, everyone. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being the most fabulous and amazing community on the cutting edge. I love being with, here with you and I wanna give you some important information. That's what quantum biofeedback is, energetic information. So I do wanna let you know that if you ever have an issue with your genius, it's a really good idea to bookmark the following page. It's called Genius Links and Status. And when you click on this page, you could click with a Q code reader to download the latest Genius. And this is a great way to load the trial on for someone is to use the Q code. You could also um, find all of the Genius links as links on this page. You can find the Quanta capsule for your clients that you're giving the capsule to. They could download it immediately and do the free trial, three free tries on the capsule. And this is just a really great place to find out what the status is. Is anything down today? Is anything having an issue today? And I updated it on the 23rd and it continues to be all apps should be working. So go to this often just to sort of refresh your link and make sure you have the latest Android version or the latest Apple version if you use Apple. Also, these are uploaded to my YouTube channel, so you can search for my name, Ariel Policano, on YouTube, and you can watch the recording of this. We're going to have a fabulous holiday week. There's going to be so many exciting things going on in our Genius community, so I'm really, really welcome you and excited to share all of that with you. To that end, I think everybody on here may be already registered, um, but remember to register for our event of the year. You can see here by the counter time, countdown, there's just, uh, it doesn't look right, that's gonna have to be changed, but there's about a day and just a little bit of time, about a, about a day left. So, um, okay, so let's go ahead and make sure you signed up for our event of the year. Why should you be there? We're gonna be having the developer of the genius Ryan Williams join us and talk to us about what's coming in 2020. We're going to be having guests sharing their experience with clients, their own experience of the genius, and it's going to be wonderful. We're going to do some giveaways, some really fun things just drawn at random. Now, I, we did change the policy because it is at a not a very European friendly time. So if you're one of our wonderful um, friends joining us from Germany, France, the UK, etc., we are going to do our drawing for everyone who registers. So you can register and hopefully you can join us for the fun live, spontaneous things, surprises. But if you can't and you're sleeping, we will still include you in the drawing and you can find out the next day and watch the recording. So sign up for that. And also in today's um, early email, we did we did send the packages <clears throat> that are basically the Black Friday packages. We understand that a lot of people um, are out of town, traveling, uh, and we wanted to get them out as, as soon as possible so that you could share them with friends and family who have been wanting to get the Genius all year. So these are really the best pricing, the best bonuses that we've had all year. And we just have three packages that we're offering for the Black Friday special. 
a starter, an upgraded, and an elite. So all of them have wonderful app bonuses like the Rife app and the Water Harmonizer. <clears throat> well, not all of them have that, but they all have different um, wonderful bonuses that you can read about on this landing page. Um, so like the starter package has our Rife app, it has the Water Harmonizer, and it has the panels that people want the most as well as training. And it does include the success cards. So it's a great value. We usually don't include that, but it has some of the favorite um, frequency panels that people want to start with, as well as the mastery training and the bonus apps, which usually you don't find available um, in the packages here. So um, also we have an upgraded, which is $17.97, and that includes the success cards, the mastery training, and then a whole slew of the favorites that people ask for all the time, hormonal balancing, food allergy, past life. It includes a quantic capsule, the water harmonizer, the Rife app, and then we also have installments for all of those, so people can just click this and get the installments. And then we have our elite version, which includes, that, sorry, includes business training, and it includes the most frequently asked for um, different testing panels, and it does include our remedy broadcast plate, and our second genius access, and then a whole slew of bonus apps. So it includes the water harmonizer, the quanta capsule, the intention motivator. So I try to do it in this fashion, hoping that it would be a little bit easier to see things visually. Most of the things have the link to the actual product. And um, all you need to send people is just this really easy link. And it's also on the website. So if you just go to the website and you can just look for the, um, no, where'd it go? So it, it will be on the menu bar. So there are two things on the menu bar today that are really easy to find, and they are the event of the year on the menu bar. So if you just send people to geniusbiofeedback.com, there is the event, and there are the Black Friday specials are all listed here right on the page. So try to make it as, su as super simple as possible. We have three packages. They're, you know, the upgraded and elite definitely are at a lower price than you see them. The starter has more bonuses, usually doesn't have apps. They all have installment plans. So try to rise to the occasion of what a lot of the prospects have asked for. They've asked for installments or they've asked for different bonuses. And so we've made all of that available. So share that far and wide with your people who have been interested in the genius. And um, also remember that the website is geniusbiofeedback.com. So all the um, apps are operational today, you guys. We did have a major migration over to Microsoft because they purchased, um, it, it has, doesn't have anything to do with the genius per se. They purchased a, 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 a company that helps to get the apps into the store and get the apps into your hand. So it's, um, nothing to be too concerned about it's all done it happened very very quickly but a lot of people didn't know where to go to find the um the different links so that's why we want you to go to the page and find the links there okay there we go um let's we'll talk about some basics and we'll do some cases today Remember that tomorrow, starting at 4 o'clock Pacific, we have our event of the year, and we'll be giving away a lot. We'll be sharing a lot of information. We might even do a case or two with our guests, but we have tremendously amazing people joining us, people who use the genius on a regular basis and have some amazing stories to share with us. And we're going to go quickly. We're going to have a guest about every 15 minutes to keep it interesting. Should be about three hours total. You can you can jump on when you want to, you can jump off and you can rejoin us. You can watch the whole recording later. It's just totally um, up to you. Okay, so, oh good, okay, so we have some pets that need some assistance. That's good. All right. Okay, so we've got some interesting questions there. Okay, so um, let's get started with, um, okay, so Cheryl has said that she has her pet, Champ, has been having seizures and he has vision and hearing problems. If you're able to take a picture of him right now and send it to my email, I'll look for it in my email, Cheryl, 
And this is a good question because she asks about, this is easy because we can bring this up. Hang on one second. Let me just make sure we've got no clients listed here um, on the screen. Give me one second to bring that back up, you guys. Um, <clears throat> oh, it's lagging as it sometimes does. So hopefully we'll get that up and running in just a second. In fact, let's just go ahead and take that down until it's running. Let's see if we can look at something while it's up here. So we have something to look at. Uh, goodness. Okay, so um, we'll, we're going to work on an animal, which is a your pet. Your is your pet a dog or a cat? <laughs> Let me know. We need to know if your pet is a dog or a cat. Um, and then we're going to bring up the genius and take a look here. He has a couple of things I want to remind you about on the genius itself is that before every session, you do need to tap begin a new scan. I think it's a little counterintuitive. I, I it's not my favorite um, the way that it's set up, but it is what it is, and it's not it's not terrible. Um, before even if you just test yourself every single day, you want to make sure before you start a new session that you tap begin a new scan right here. It clears out the essence. It helps to clear out the cache, kind of a thing. And um, then you will have to relook for yourself in the in the client records. And you'll have to go in here and look in the client records. I know it's a bit of a pain, but um, it's not bad, and it does help with um, if you ever crash, your results will still be there. So we have this dog or cat. I'm not sure. Um, Cheryl, I, I need a little bit more information. Don't go south on me now. Don't go quiet on me now. I'm going to need a little bit more help from you, honey. So, <laughs> so if you do, if you do have a dog or a cat, um, what you can do is you can estimate that person's, um, that person, you can estimate that animal's date of birth. I don't know if champ is a male or a female. I'm going to assume male. Um, I don't know if it's a dog or a cat. I'm really going to need that in order to test this animal. So, okay, a dog, great. And then you can use the last name, your last name, right? Because it's part of your family, so be McNeil. And then we can just guesstimate the date of birth. Like if we know it was May of 2004, even if you don't even know the day, you can just make a date up, you guys. If you don't even know the year, because a lot of dogs are rescued, just to look at your dog. Your dog was supposed to be three when you got him. It's been so many years since you got the dog, and then you're good to go. It, it, believe me, it works. It's amazing. And then your dog doesn't have to speak. You could speak as a surrogate for the dog. Um, so let's go ahead and I think she said that the dog has uh, – let me know when you've got that picture. If you can send it to my email, I'll pick it up on the email – has been having seizures and a vision and hearing problem. Oh, poor baby, that's not good. Okay, so you could put up here seizures, hearing, oh my brain, and vision. Um, you guys, the Genius Biofeedback System works amazingly well for animals, for children. They're so receptive, they don't have resistance. I, saw, I know, I see you could spell vision wrong, right? Um, uh, so they're great, great. You can you can make a water remedy for them, and you could put it in their water dish. So that's something that you could do. There's so many ways to go about this. You could create um, a little charm or um, a gemstone and put it on a collar, or take the collar itself and then put the frequencies into the collar, then put the collar back on the dog. So there are lots and lots of ways to do this. Um, and we have wonderful, wonderful pet panels um, that are available. I'll send the link for that so you can see those. A lot of you have those. And okay, great. Okay, awesome. Wonderful. Okay, we have that. Oh, you sent that's a different cat. That's a, now I got one from I got a cat. Okay, Maria sent me her cat. <laughs> so send me your dog, or we'll have to. If you can't get a picture, then maybe you could send me a picture you already have. But really, if we can't, um, we're not going to be able to wait. But you could actually record this as a surrogate. And what you would do is you would tap the record button, and you would just go ahead and saying it is my intention that my voice be the carrier frequency for the energy of the dog. Champ McNeil, A-E-I-O-U, A-E-I-O-U, A-E-I-O-U. 
Now, I'm not a big surrogate person, so I skip the voice personally, but some people really resonate with the idea of being a surrogate, and so I just want to let you know that that is available. They've used that in kinesiology for years, um, so it's something that you can do. So I guess we're not, uh, so you, I guess it's not going to happen, right? What is your email address? Okay, never mind. <laughs> You've never emailed me. Just send it to any of the email addresses that you have for me. All right, no big deal. Um, we don't have time to go through that. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. You know what? It works without a voice and a picture, you guys. It's all good. And uh, Maria was Johnny on the spot or Jane on the spot. She got the picture to me so we can look at Susie in the chat box below. Tell me a little bit about Susie. You guys, I've I've worked on a lot of animals and you can, I've worked on animals that are, you know, injured in my yard, the bird in my yard and everything about that bird came up perfectly when I tested the bird. I think I did take a picture of the bird, but um, if you don't have a voice, if you don't have a picture, use your intention. Your intention is a big part of what's going on on the genius. So use your, your intention. That's an important part of what's going on. Um, if you, anybody else has a dog, a cat, send me the picture now. So we have it. And if you want a scan today, send me information down below and tell me um, what you'd like me to work on. Oh, what a beautiful little baby. So let's see, we're like 15, I think. So we're nine, nine, 2019. The dog was born in 2004. And animals are very close to the higher realms, as you, many of you know. They're much, much closer to divine spirit and God than than we are. You're coming into something that is a a perfect connection with spirit. Um, there was a meditation teacher that said um, she started her talk so eloquently, and she said, "How do you approach um, a rock, a tree, an animal?" you know, with respect, you know, because they're so filled with God's love. They're just this direct connection. And so you do see these very higher vibrational energies um, in cats and dogs and horses. And, and they're very, very receptive to the frequency. So if you've never done a genius session um, on one of your animals, I highly recommend it. You do not need the animal panels that we have. They're just, we're going to look we're going to use them. They're, they're a big um, advantage. Um, all right. She sent the dog's picture. The dog wasn't looking at the camera, though. Cheryl, thank you very, very much. We'll go back, and let's go ahead, and we'll snap that picture in there and get it. So go back here. I hope it doesn't lag. Okay. And let's snap a quick picture. So this is actually a great lesson anyway. Um, hey, it's holiday week, you know. Go with the flow, right? So let's go ahead and get the picture of your beautiful little baby. Yeah, you don't need the animal, um, you don't need this animal uh, panel that we're gonna show you that has like the food allergies and so forth. Anything that you do on the program will be immediately applied to the dog, especially dogs and cats, companion animals. They're so, it's funny, like they're so analogous to humans in a lot of ways that they have similar, you know, similar um, organs and stuff like that, you know, chakras and so forth. So let's, I did, you know, now I made the same mistake that, um, so it, it's, I made the same mistake that, so this is a good example of making a mistake, right? So now I have to go all the way in order to do this and add the picture, I have to go all the way out of the program. By the way, you guys, if you don't like this way of doing it, then please send a message rw at insidehealthapps.com. I don't think you should have to come off the page to do this and go back into your client records. So, you know, great opportunity, rw at insidehealthapps.com and say, I understand why you need to hit begin but why do we need to go back to the client records? Because it it really, I've had to interrupt a lot of sessions to do that. Um, now it's jammed. Okay, so um, yeah, so dogs are really similar to humans in a lot of ways in terms of the chakra, the energy field. You can look at the aura. Um, you will see animals respond very, very positively 
to you'll immediately see it. I'm always like so amazed when I test. I have two dogs, and when I test them, I'm I just I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, I thought that was reminding. I thought that was going on for them. It reminds me of like, oh, I remember the dog's allergic to this, that, and the other thing. So it's always great. And if you guys want to add an entrainment, we could just add entrainment comfort and um, comfort and peace. Okay, so that will play in the background for the dog. And hey, you did it, Cheryl, you got the picture over. I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, we do have animal panels on the website, geniusbiofeedback.com. And you can go there and check them out and um, see what they contain. Those are great fun. But we're gonna do some testing without them and then you can do the testing with them. It's totally up to you. Okay, here we go. Send that link, a lot of you have these. Um, all right, so let's go to the aura, and we may see a different aura just because whatever reason we start, even just the intention of starting to work on the animal is going to change the field, so it's okay if it changed. Let's go ahead and we'll just snap that up, and what a cute little baby, huh? All right, so um, you can work on the chakras, you can work on the meridians. So this is kind of normal and natural. As soon as we sort of get into it, we're going to maybe get into the more physical aspects of what's going on. Um, but yeah, you can look at meridians for the dog. And <clears throat> we see the triple meridian. This is like digestive stuff. And we see gallbladder and stomach. So it looks like a lot of it is based on digestion. And um, this is pretty common with you know humans and animals now one thing you could do you guys again in the vein of how i'm really teaching an easy way especially if you're new to the genius to start working with it is um just do the quick balance right get into it do the quick balance and what you could do is a minute on quick balance and then you could gather everything up into progressive insights so the triple heater meridian is also called the triple warmer it is the place where we turn food into chi. If it's out of balance, then we don't have um, really complete digestion and assimilation. And especially with the gallbladder meridian being off, you know, same thing in humans. As we age, that gallbladder is not working as well. And it means we're not detoxifying as well as we could be. Um, we're not breaking down fats as well as we could be. So those are all things to consider. Um, and digestion is probably the, I would say digestion and emotions are two of the best things that you could do to help animals, digestion and emotions, because they really, really live on the emotional plane. Um, it's a huge part of what animals are and what they respond to. So, and they probably have a much richer emotional life than we realize. We don't want to put too much on them in terms of being human, but they do have um, a fairly rich emotional life. So I'm um, just trying to find something here. Okay, so in the mastery guide, you can find um, information about the triple warmer. So if you have that mastery guide, um, Let's see, responsible for the movement and transformation of various solids and fluids throughout the system, as well as the production and circulation of nourishing energy and productive energy. So nourishing the chi. It's, con con it's composed of three parts known as burners, each associate, associated with the three main cavities of the body, the thorax, the abdomen, and the pelvis. So digestion is always going to be related. Even if you have vision, hearing, you know, that can be related. Improving the digestive system will often improve everything. And we will look at um, vision would be associated with the liver and hearing would be associated with the kidney, although it sounds like it's all related to aging. You could also be doing the nerve tonifying program um, for the uh, seizures, and we do have a seizure panel specifically for that, so you could utilize that as well. But let's look at some of the basics on the program. Um, all the packages this week for your prospects include the success cards because they've just come clear about 
it's become clear about how important they are um, in helping people to learn the genius. They need something in their hands that they can do a quick reference for, so this can really help them. You could also be harmonizing the chakras. So the sacral chakra and the root chakra. So that's also very interesting because the dog is working more in those first three chakras. And that also does make energy, make a lot of sense. The dogs are going to be very much of the earth, right? They're going to be very connected to the earth, dogs and cats. So it's interesting. The root chakra is the first chakra and the sacral chakra is the second chakra. This is also something it's probably not going to get changed right away. That'd be helpful if it just said first and second alongside where it says root chakra, but you probably have all the chakras memorized, so you probably know them. And this is another one where you could just do um, things on the quick balance for a minute in quick balance. And I'm finding that this is just such a helpful way to get through things very, very quickly. You could be doing the entire balancing for the dog just in quick balance but you could also gather the things up into the tray as well. So let's stop that <clears throat> just a little bit short. So you could be pulling these down into the quick balance as well. Um, other things that are good to, ch to check if you have that genius um, biofeedback process sheet. So other things that are really good to check that are on that process sheet are things like today's stress, pathogens. Let's go ahead, we'll put them down into the tray here. And then we could also do a quick balance on them and talk about them. <clears throat> emotional, which is what I talked about. Let's see what the emotional, um, <laughs> what's going on with the emotions of the dog. This is much easier than when we have a person on. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go. Because, you know, emotions are very much in your face. And we don't want to maybe be so direct with people. So emotions, angst, being a little anxiety-ridden, wonder. Now. The opposite of motion, it's a little bit tricky. The dog might be just filled with wonder, and that might be why it's showing up, or might be a little bit out of balance, wanting to be more in a state of wonder and less in a state of worry. Disgust, how can a dog be disgusted? Maybe the food, <laughs> I'm sure your food is not disgusting. I'm sure your food is good. Disgust, maybe jealousy at another, um, at another dog. Disgust could be, I'm upset because I can't go out because maybe I'm not feeling well. Disgust could be, you know, all types of sort of childish emotions. I'm sure the food is very tasty. <laughs> Annoyance, sorrow, pity, anger. It's interesting when I've worked on different animals, I, I will see, sometimes I'll even see like, I don't think it's um, coming up for this dog, but sometimes you'll see like envy and there'll be another dog that's in the, um, that's in the house. And I know that my dogs, one dog gets very, very jealous of the other. So that might be in there as well. I don't see it here. Maybe your dog is a singular dog. Um, <laughs> no, the, the food is fine. The food is totally fine. I would also use the Bach flower essences. And those are great too. And those will also be very powerful for animals. In fact, one thing to keep in your home is um, rescue remedy. Just keep the actual rescue remedy, um, you know, in your home. They make one for pets that has glycerin in it as opposed to alcohol. So Star of Bethlehem is going to be for things like, you know, shock. And so that could be related to maybe the seizure. Um, and then uh, wild oat is for um, addressing questions regarding your work or your life's destiny. So also animals are like a sponge, you guys. They really pick up all of our stuff. And as you're clearing your dog, clearing your cat, clearing whatever your companion animal is, you're also clearing yourself. This is, a, this is something where it works hand in hand, that they go together, they work together. Um, it's funny, as as we're talking, or pr attracting all the animals apparently from the neighborhood, and there is a woodpecker drilling on the chimney from where I'm broadcasting from. So we must be attracting all the animals. I'll have to send some frequencies over <laughs> to that as well. Um, so yeah, it's wonderful to be able to work with animals, and it can be so powerful. You'll see a change and a shift in the animal that you're working with. 
Um, all right. He's our only pet. He's our baby. What position is blue? It means it needs it or for a supplement? What position is red? Is it working too much? Caroline, welcome. These are great, great questions and welcome everyone who's joining us after the hour. It's so good to have you. Welcome and thank you so much for joining and being here. So once again, you can gather these items up into your tray. The red items are going to, let's go back to, let's go to body systems, right? And let's go to body systems and talk about the reds. So the red items are going to be things that are inflamed or they're very acute or they're very up for today. So endocrine, that would be things like blood sugar or hormones or you know thyroid, adrenal. And so that could be sort of some of some of the picture of what's going on with the dog. And then nervous system definitely with seizures would be something that's going on. And it could also be the cranial nerves, right? It could be the auditory nerves that are being affected, right? The cochlear nerves. The skeletal system, this could be loss of bone density because it's an older dog. The lymphatic system and again, the digestive system being one of the most important things to work on the digestive system for any dog or cat having any type of issue, be sure to work on the digestive system. Then we could do a quick balance here. Now your blues are gonna be for things that are more chronic or they're more, there's more stagnation. Um, there's a lack of energy, there's a lack of movement and we've kind of lost our resilience our, or our ability to fight in these particular areas. We're, we're depleted or decompensated are other things you can associate it with the color blue in the Genius Biofeedback program. So reds and blues are significant. Sometimes blues could be considered to be even more significant because that's where all the compression and stagnation is. However, remember the Genius Biofeedback system is really talking about things that resonate with you, things that are interesting to your energy field, things that you're energy field is attracted to. So it can also be attracted to different remedies. And so in terms of remedies or things that your body needs or wants, it can also inform you, hey, I am resonating with or would benefit from the frequency of wild oat. So I, you know, that wild oat is something when I play that frequency, it's helpful for me. Also, it is equal with the reds. Because when you play this frequency, where is it? Um, back in body systems, when you play that endocrine frequency, it does reduce that stress disturbance. So sometimes we need to entrain the positive. Sometimes we want to work out the stress disturbance of something that's causing an interference in our field. So if you take nothing else away from the conversation, Reds and blues, reds and blues. It's all about the reds and the blues. That's where the action is. That is what is going to be addressed when you hit that quick balance. And that is going to be what is going to be placed into the progressive insights where we want to gain more understanding of root cause. Okay, so now let's go to the animal panels themselves and they are under, for our purposes of dogs, they're under C for canine. C for canine, that's where we would look for them. And I love just being able to go through those canine panels because they're so specific for dogs and things that they're exposed to. And so I think that this is a really helpful array of panels that comes with some forms that can help you to um, really get more of a sense of what's going on with the animal. Okay. Should there be a page in the quick guide for meridians? I am not seeing one in my deck. Well, in the future, I hope to develop. <laughs> I hope to complete the rest of the panels and develop success cards for them. Right now, there are about eight success cards, but every single item, Mary, go back to the mastery guide. Go back to the mastery guide. Go to your mastery guide and everything that's not addressed in the success cards. I hope to have the rest of the success cards, another sort of set number two, which would include the meridians and sacred geometry. Um, and it actually it took a lot of time to put those success cards together, but I hope to um, complete set number two in the future that'll have the rest of the wellness panels. And so Mary, great question, but look in your mastery guide. Actually, there's a very 
excellent description of all the meridians in the mastery guide. So, you know, in the success cards, I tried to cover the sort of the basics that people are testing every day. Um, hopefully it gets the job done and then you can supplement with that, um, with the mastery guide that you have, that book that you received when you first got the genius. Now, real interesting, isn't it? Oh, wow. So interesting what's coming up. So probiotics, look into a probiotic that would be good for a dog. Um, this is one that's not quite complete, but it's rife for vision. So rife frequencies for vision. Nerve tonifying, that would be good for the seizure. Now you could put just the entire one into the tray. You could tap on it. So I'm going to tap on it here. And then it tells us all the different nerves that are irritated or compressed um, for the dog. So what we could do here is we could put all of these items into the main hole tray. So these are all the nerves. Now there's that vestibular cochlear nerve. That does have to do with hearing um, and uh, balance, actually. And then we can go up here. We can get all of these. I'm not sure exactly the location of all these. Obviously, the gastric plexus is in the um, stomach area, as well as the abdominal aorta plexus. The hypoglossal nerve, that's something that moves the tongue. It's around the mouth. Um, but you can put them in there, but you could also do a quick balance. So you could make a little list, right? Nerve tonifying for one minute or five minutes or whatever it is, and then you could move on to the next panel. We can use the search box up at the top here, and we can start writing in K9, and then that will hopefully come up. What I like about this is that you've got things that dogs are exposed to, food allergies, foods the dogs that are eating that they don't resonate with, how the digestion is, conditions that might be resonating. They might not have the exact condition, but it's still great to balance. Nourishing foods, foods that dogs are drawn to or would benefit benefit from. Standard process is a really great veterinary line for animals. And then there's another veterinary line called Vetra Sciences. So they're both great. They do different things. Like I love the standard process because for dogs and cats, it seems to be very good to have this organotherapy. It's something that they resonate with. And then the Vetra Science is kind of a whole different kind of supplement line but really really good supplements like for cleaning up the gut and some other um, things in that particular line and they're all there this comes with an extensive guide to all of these different panels so here are the exposures and this is an interesting one you guys microchip sensitivity now unfortunately you will be very hard pressed to find any vet whatsoever that will remove a microchip. It is not a hugely strong resonance. It's only 669. It's not in red, but is kind of mild. Anything above 600 could be considered like a mild resonance. Um, but um, yeah, you you can't find vets, even holistic vets will take this thing out. But um, I'd say that the effects are rather minor. And what you can do is run the genius for it. Just run the genius frequencies. Um, food dyes, so that might be something in the food. Flea treatment toxicity, you probably haven't treated your dog for fleas with, with a toxic treatment probably in a long time, but it still could be affecting the dog. Some electrical sensitivity is a mild exposure. Um, arsenic might be in the water or in the food, like in chicken. And then this is a preservative, some heavy metal exposure. I'm just going straight up to 200. That's sort of things that I see do that can resonate up to 200, even if they are in um, red and blue. So ethylene glycol can be in the kibble, kind of interesting. Um, and of course, dogs have their nose everywhere on everyone's lawn and in the park. And unfortunately, they're going to pick up a lot of pesticides and herbicides. And that would really be the main thing that would be probably the toxin that would be most likely to trigger the seizures. But of course, anything you can do, any of the brain panels, brain solutions that nourish the brain would be a really good idea. Um, and then we can look at food allergies. So um, fish, you know, I don't feed my dog any fish because there is um, the, the oil from the fish 
does not resonate great with the dog's liver. So these types of unsaturated um, fats can rancidify very quickly. And so I really don't feed the dogs any type of fish or fish oil or fish meal or anything like that. And a lot of times when you do get some type of dog food, um, even if it says it's holistic, it's often chicken meal, fish meal. These are usually not the best foods for the animal. Um, potatoes, mm, there might be some crossover here where things that are good for the dog, things that are bad for the dog. I'm not sure, but it's not. It's, it seems to say it's not resonating. Chicken meal, beef. So I think what the dog needs is pure food, like um, the real chicken that sometimes is in kibble-based food. Um, or you can actually give the dog, you know, real food, which maybe you're already feeding the dog food, dog, you know, real actual food that's made, you know, produced, cooked fresh is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, but the dog might also not resonate with, I have seen a lot of dogs not be resonating with potatoes. Uh, dairy, most dogs are allergic to dairy. Yeast extract is usually in some type of the food. And we'll leave it there. And then digestion. So some worms and some dysbiosis, which we suspected. Some, let's go to nourishing foods, <laughs> Brussels sprouts, millet. That's an interesting millet. You can make millet for your dog. It's very, very alkalizing. Um, blueberries, that would be a great antioxidant. Green beans are good for the pancreas. So look at um, the pancreas in the digestive system. We did see some stuff related to the endocrine system, blood sugar, and really anything that goes wrong in the body, if blood sugar is not regulating well, that could be part of the issue too. In fact, blood sugar dysregulation undiagnosed is a big reason why people have brain issues. Remember that that Alzheimer's is now considered to be like a diabetes type 3, and anything going on with the brain, not clear thinking, even maybe seizures, there may be a blood sugar issue. I'm just sort of reading between the lines of some of the things that are coming up for the dog. Okay, now conditions won't always apply. So take that with a grain of salt. Like, you know, it's probably the dog doesn't have all of these things, but you could do a quick balance on it because the dog might have some element of some of these things. All right, so there might be something, like I see diabetes insipidus, that is something going on with the pituitary. That has to do with thirst, the dog probably doesn't have this, but I did also see something going on with the pituitary when I tested all the libraries, so there might be something to that. Standard process, canine hepatic support, so this tells us indeed the liver needs some support. Um, VF biodent, that's for the teeth. So there may be some tooth issues that are not, not known that are contributing to this. Canine immune support, great. I love the reading on standard process because it also gives us hints about what the dog's issue might be, sort of in this reverse way. And then um, vetra science. So I'm not, I'm not familiar with all these, but they're all on the guide that comes with this um, panel. And so renal essentials, renal is going to be related, kidney is going to be related to the ears and hearing. Cell advance is like a um, improve the cells of the body overall, and I'm forgetting Vetra D DMG. Glycoflex is typically for things related to, you know, joints and mobility. And we did see hip dysplasia. The dog probably doesn't have frank hip dysplasia, but there might be some joint stuff, um, ligamentous stuff. Coenzyme Q10, just really, really good overall. That might really help with the seizures and nervous system stuff because it feeds the mitochondria. Now, this is just for dogs, but you could test any of the panels for your dog, any of the libraries, any of the main panels. For the most part, there's going to be a corollary. Now, let's see, we did all of the, let's just look at the cranial nerves real quickly. We did all of the sort of related panels. So we go back to the, now the search isn't working and I don't know why. But if we look at the libraries again, see how the um, premier research, the pituitary um, remedies were coming up. So it tells me pituitary and diabetes insipidus are kind of related. Um, so if we go cranial nerves, the trochlear nerve, that's a nerve that moves the eye, which is kind of interesting in relationship to the seizures. 
glossopharyngeal, that's a one that moves the tongue. It might be the hypoglossal, might be the swallowing one, I can't remember. So that's just good to do like a tonify on, you know? And then we could go to progressive insights. What is the thing that comes up at the very top that is the most important thing to know about? Gosh, you know, you guys, this came up for my dogs too. Even though I have not given a flea treatment to either of the dogs, I mean, not, a, I mean, not, I mean, natural fleas, yes, um, but not a, not a chemical one in years. And it still comes up for my dogs. So something about that is so um, long lasting effects. It's good to clear that out with the genius. That's how much we really need biofeedback. Because I just want to, point out a difference the things on the left these little check marks you can disregard them for now they they are connected to something called the functional zone considerations so we can show one of those in a moment but for the most part you only need to either go select all which is perfectly acceptable or you could select a few of the high items if you wanted to just focus on those what i like to do is i like to look at everything that came up high to give me an idea well it seems like millet that's a very very resonant what that tells us is that that particular grain is resonating very high so you could just make some millet for your dog mix some kibble or chicken in with that and that would be good for alkalizing the system it would be good for healing the digestion okay so some other things coming up pity like you know the dog might be feeling sorry for itself like that can actually happen then some other flower essences the cranial nerves um, one thing we didn't get to do was the seizure panel so let's just go ahead and take a quick look at that and of course i would say cbd right is it that's something that you've used for your dog is the cbd oil Cerebral infarcts, so that's um, a blood, little mini blood clots in the brain. Glutamate is just a chemical. That might could have been from the food. Um, what kind of food have you fed your dog? Uh, like that's like MSG kind of a thing. It might be an additive in the food. Liver function root cause, and we saw that um, just in the other panel. Cortical dysplasias, I'm not familiar with all of this, not being a neurologist. Inhibitory interneurons the limbic system, the limbic system, that's interesting, a disruption to electrical flow, so something, probably a toxin, um, causing that. And you guys, you don't need to understand what any of those things mean. You can just put them in the tray. You can look them up. I believe there's a guide to the, the seizure panels, but I'm gonna have to check. And, or you can look it up online. And then the quick balance, you could just quick balance it, and that's all you need to do. Now let's go, there's the solutions. CBD oil isn't resonating. Healthy electrical flow, that could come from working with the genius. What else? I wonder, where does your dog sleep? Um, healthy electrical flow. Hmm. Because maybe your dog is electrically sensitive. What is impeding electrical flow? I have to think about that. Vitamin B6. I'm not sure. Healthy, restore healthy electrical flow. Keeps coming up again and again. Interesting, but you could just run that with the genius, and that could be really, really helpful. And then we go to, now we want to go to progressive insights. Now, what is coming up as the most important? The microchip sensitivity, wow. Again, not a lot that you can do, but you can run the genius, and that will help to reduce the stress disturbance. That's the whole point of biofeedback, is sometimes getting to things that are difficult to get to otherwise. Now let's use one of the functional zones. It, the functional zone is a way to go deeper within the program. So it's a way to go to deeper root cause. So let's tap on kidneys. We tap here and then we go down to the bar, the black bar that's below, and we tap on functional zones. Now it's gonna take a moment and it's gonna look at seven functional zones. All the functional zones are listed and defined in the mastery guide and we like to look for ones that are in red or blue there's nothing that's coming up that strong so let's see if we can just do another one that might come up a little bit more powerfully more clear we like to see the reds and the blues but you could have just chosen from the top or the bottom and they usually give a little bit of a hint 
Okay, the geophysical zone, the microorganism zone. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. Um, so the geophysical zone is where does the dog sleep? The dog might be sleeping on ley lines, and we have a geopathic stress panel for that. Um, didn't mean to. Okay, so geophysical microorganism, tissue regulation. And then if you want to know what tissue regulation, like what's going on within the tissues of the body, you can tap on this again. You can include this now in your balancing, and then you can tap on it one more time, and it gives you an additional hint. So it's going to tell you more, well, what about the tissue regulation zone? What are the things that are underpinning that that you could look at? A benign tumor. Maybe, hmm, that's interesting. Um, Maybe there's a brain, like an, a benign brain tumor. Um, could be totally harmless, never caused anything, but maybe that, I wonder if that's what's causing the seizure or impeding electrical flow. Um, so that's what the, t the functional zones are about. They're all defined in the mastery guide. So that's a place that you could look for it. Let's see if you guys had any other ideas or thoughts. Why would the microchip be reactive? Um, why would the microchip be reactive? I think dogs are just sent, could be sensitive to having it in their person, like in the scruff of their neck. I think, now let's see, they wouldn't be really active, right, until they're tested, until somebody goes beep and tries to test and look at the chip, but it's always on their person. It's a metal implant. Um, 5G towers, blue light now affecting people. Okay, good one. Is it possible to have his results sent to my Quanta capsule? Yes, what email are you using for that? My dog has not been given any flea treatments, but have you had your dog since the dog was born? Have you had the dog since literally that you got it as a puppy? Did the person who was a dog breeder, could they have used a flea treatment? Was the person, if you rescued it, could the pound or the rescue place have used a, free, a flea treatment? It also, you guys, um, remember that the genius might be reading something else. It might be reading another type of pesticide. Um, in the system overview, is there a way to test the teeth or would I need a special panel? Mary, I'm trying to remember if you got these panels, but yeah, there's, I don't think there's any way to read the teeth in the main part, but you could definitely check out the dental panels and all of the teeth are listed and then there's an assessment um, in here about health issues that you could see what's going on you know i mean the dog probably doesn't have a root canal but it says that there's definitely something going on with the teeth so this is like one of those places where it's not a direct correlation and then you could just do a tune-up on the teeth itself you could see what solutions would be good um, so funny to have a dog do oil pulling, which is rinsing, keeping the coconut oil or sesame oil in your mouth. Um, and then you can get some different remedies. So yeah, interesting, purified chondroitin sulfate. I think we just might have some loss of bone density due to age going on there. Um, uh, what's going on here? Okay, so let's see if there are any other questions about that. Okay, we got him when he was six weeks old from a breeder. So believe it or not, it could have been something before that, or it just could represent different types of pesticides going on. Um, she says she gets real real food that I cook for him. Surprised about the potatoes. Yeah, I mean, play around with it. I mean, potatoes do have a lot of nutrition in them. But if you've been giving potatoes, maybe vary it. Try the, try the millet. Um, and uh, yeah, I can send all of them to your quantum capsule. I just need your email associated with the capsule in order to do that and so and when you read your different um so let's see what's going on here the rock water the skeletal system the hypoglossal dairy nerve tonifying being nervous gorse feeling a little bit hopeless a little bit of hopelessness kidneys lymphatic heavy metal exposure like a lot of detox stuff i do think detox is going to be some you know working on the liver and kidneys and the digestion could have a lot of um, a lot of good benefit for the dog. 
Have you worked on the dog with the genius previously? Um, maybe let us know that in the chat area. Let us know if you've worked on the dog previously. Rock water is a core essence for releasing hardened soul forces so you can flow again with the stream of life. Giving up in a, growing up in a harsh environment or being overly sensitive can cause you to form a shell of protection. This hardening may numb your feelings, causing you to be harsh on yourself and others. Rock water lifts the stone barrier that blocks your energy flow. Oh, that's really interesting. Rock water lifts the stone barrier that blocks your energy flow. This, because this dog has a lack of flow, lack of electrical flow. Um, and, and events in your life can transform into new creative possibilities. Rock water is also useful for breaking up specific issues that feel like a boulder in your path. So you could take these frequencies, you could put them in the quantum capsule, you can play the quantum capsule, you could even take the frequencies. If you don't have a remedy plate, take headphones and put it around water and then put the water into the dog's bowl. But I wouldn't be surprised if this is an issue, the Cheryl, that relates to something you're going through. Um, and rock water remedy, um, flower remedy should never be, flower essences should never be underestimated for their power. I would submit to you they're probably more powerful than any type of medication and they work on a subtle non-toxic level. So this rock water might be the key element to really open up the dog's energy flow. And the whole purpose of Progressive Insights is to take a number of items, today we had 70 items, load them up in the lower tray, and then when we hit Progressive Insights, it actually is prioritizing according to energetic attraction. Sorry, you guys had to cough. So it's prioritizing according to energetic attraction what the what is the biggest priority or what is the biggest remedy for that person. And so rock water out of 70 remedies rose to the level of the highest priority or, you know, rose to the level of the highest resonance. Why? You want to ask yourself as a practitioner, why is that? And there's something about rock water that's very significant and also signals to us that that could be a very potent remedy for shifting and changing things. So another thing that you could do is you could go back to the main part of the program and then bring that rock water up into the main, into the quick zap tray and then bring some of the other um, potentiators that we use, those who come every week know things like 528, right? Bring that up into the tray as a way to help to expand that energy and then take something from sacred geometry, golden ratio or flower of life or something like that. And again, these are all coherent. Even though they're not specifically resonating for the dog in reds and blues, you can still use them as like a way of using something with intention. And so when you use these, this is going to kind of, you know, expand or potentiate the energy of using rock water. And again, you could put that into, um, you could play that into water through remedy plate. The whole idea with the remedy plate is that it's, a, it, it's an amplifier, you guys. So you can get a, a remedy plate on my website for $197. We ship or mail it to you. Domestically, it's for free. International, it's a little bit of a charge. But the whole purpose of the remedy plate is um, the copper tracings that are within the plate. So every time two or more electrical lines cross each other, they create a small vortex. And the remedy plate that you see on the website is just a whole bunch of vortexes. It's a really, really cool design. Um, it's very, very well made. And it's in a sacred geometrical construct. We could look at the, um, the Star of David, basically, or a hexagon is, you could see it on the program over here. And, but you could also do it with headphones. That is going to broadcast some of the energy into water. When you're speaking to water, water is very, very impressionable. So every time two or more electrical lines cross each other, they create a small vortex. The simple dynamic law of physics is the foundation for the design and development of that broadcast plate. So when you do that, it acts as a broadcaster out to whatever you want to broadcast. You can even put the person's name on the plate. You can even put their picture on the plate as a way to further sort of focus the energy that you're broadcasting out long distance 
or when the person's there with you, this is actually being shown upside down, but when the person's there with you, they can put their hand on the plate and receive the energy. So again, anytime two or more electrical lines cross each other, they create a small vortex. And so the designer here has created a whole bunch of vortex vortices with um, copper with copper um, tracings that are in within the remedy plate. It's great. You guys remember that you're energetic pioneers, you're energetic researchers. So be curious. What happens when I do this? Um, we don't do this too much as practitioners, but you could do it for yourself. Is if you um, you can order from the drugstore Lancets and actually put a little bit of a blood spot on the remedy plate, and that is going to be a, an amplifier to reach your energy in real time. We don't really recommend that you do it for your clients because we don't want you to be seen as doing any type of a medical uh, intervention, but you could do it for yourself. You basically put a little drop of blood on that plate and it's gonna be an even more potent way to transform your energy because your blood is like a holographic imprint of who you are. So um, Cheryl, I, send me your email, make sure I have your email associated with the capsule and I will definitely send you all of these. Um, thank you for volunteering, Champ. We're gonna really be sending some loving energy. I think the genius is gonna make a difference on those seizures. Um, so we'll be sending some loving energy and good intentions. Let's see a final aura for Champ and see if there's anything different going on here. Um, let's see if this will let me do a, a retest. There we go. Yeah, perfect. You guys remember to come to our event of the year. I think every single person on here has actually signed up. But invite friends, you guys. I notice a lot of people sign up or are the people who come to every Monday event. And we love you dearly. But really, the genius isn't going to be able to have the planetary effect that we want unless we really share it with others. So share it with everyone around you. Have them come to the event. The purpose of them coming to the event of the year would be so that they can hear what people are doing with the genius. They, you know, People learn mostly through stories. So they can come and be a part of hearing what people have experienced with the genius. So bring people, have them come to the event. We're gonna give stuff away to everyone. They could bring, they could get, well, like we're gonna have like a chakra gemstone. They could win a capsule. Uh, we're gonna have some mugs and tote bags. They could might win a little mouse pad or something like that. So there's something for everyone at the event. but do more if you can to share this and invite others to be on with us and hear from our community. Now we have an absolutely spectacular ending aura for Champ. So I think Cheryl, this is making a tremendous difference for your dog and I would definitely recommend that you do more. I think the dog is really connected and resonating with the frequencies. No accident, it's your dog would be really energetically receptive. Also remember that our packages are now available. So if you go to geniusbiofeedback.com and you go to the packages, the packages are all now available for the entire week for Black Friday. The reason we did that is because we want you to be able to share these now before everybody goes on vacation or isn't available. So be sure you share our special Black Friday packages that have all the juicy bonuses because they are gonna go away shortly, right? Okay, everyone, thank you so, so much for being part of our Genius community. Lots of love and great energy to Champ and to everybody who's on today. I'll be on the chat at geniusbiofeedback.com. So if you go to my website, geniusbiofeedback.com, and you go to the bottom right of the screen, you can pop open the chat, and hey, let's have a chat. Let's talk about anything that you need or have questions about. I'll be on the chat for the next hour. Thanks, everyone. Take care. See you back here tomorrow at 4 o'clock Pacific, everyone. Take care. Be well. Bye-bye for now.